Welcome back guys. Back in September, Google announced three different devices, the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P. And those two have been out for some time now. One of the things they did announce back then as well was the Pixel C tablet. Now that one took a lot longer to actually come out and be available for everybody to pick up. But now I have one in house. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing and then initial thoughts of the Pixel C. Let's check it out. First thing you're going to notice obviously the box is really understated in the sense of design it's just a white box the indicator bar here is just supposed to mimic the way you'd basically see how much battery you have life you have on the actual pixel c um, they're just basically pixel c on the bottom here and it, the bottom back is just basically gray uh, we're just going to use our trusty knife and open it up I have to admit, taking the actual top cover of the box itself is not exactly as simple as I thought it was going to be. Uh, but once we take that away, we're greeted directly with the unit itself. Um, you'll notice it's wrapped in plastic. There's a couple of handles here to pick it up. Uh, face, we directly have the camera, the front facing camera that's centered on this one. Um, and then, of course, it's very, very much um, a metallic back. Uh, we'll put this one on the side right here for a second. Uh, look at the materials real quick. Let's get started. Of course, it says, um, connect to charger, turn on, find the network, and log in and sign up. Um, we are provided with directly a hardwired, actually, interesting, a hardwired connector uh, for the actual Pixel C. It is a USB Type C connector, which hence the name of it, uh, but there is nothing else in here as far as information, uh, just the information card. You flip it over, just gives you the information or the specifications on the box itself. Uh, but I guess we are going to need to use this because we need to charge it or at least plug it to be able to turn it on. Go ahead put this away and we'll go ahead and bring the Pixel C here. Um, overall, very, very nice as far as what it looks like. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to be able to get to this and let's just figure out where the pattern is. And here we are. And here we are, we have released our Pixel C from its encasing. Uh, overall, from the looks of it, it looks, there's no buttons on the bottom. On the right side, we have this one of the speakers, the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Um, on the top, we have, I'm assuming more microphones for the more the multi-directional uh, answer here, power. And on the left, uh, we have just volume and another speaker. So we're just gonna set it down on the table, power it up for the first time. Okay, so we're not able to turn it on for the first time. I'm not sure why, but let's double check real quick the rating here. So the output rating here on the actual charger itself is a little different. It's actually five volts at three amps. So that's the main rating here that we get here. Uh, let's see if we can get some power into the in Pixel C. So it looks like pretty much as much as the instructions were pretty much true on this, you do need to connect it directly into the power source for it to actually boot up for the first time. Uh, the only thing I can assume is that the battery is actually dead on it or by default, they don't leave it with a full charge. So we'll give it a second. It's booting up right now. You can see the animation for Android Marshmallow booting up for the first time. Um, and yes, of course, everything is running very nice. Uh, this just real quick as far as uh, hardware wise, um, this is running the Tegra X1 chip, which is one of the latest ones on the market itself. One of the fastest ones, of course. Um, and, and it does have a 2560 by 1800 uh, aspect ratio for the screen resolution. Uh, we'll go ahead and go next. Oops. And we need to connect to our Wi-Fi. And as I suspected, the, the battery itself is actually empty. That's one of the main reasons why it needs to be charged. Um, I can see here the lightning here. This tablet needs to download and update and restart. Wow, right out of the bat. Okay. So it just came out like literally yesterday. I don't know why it's it just needs to update it itself. So it looks like there's been an update that was pushed directly for the for the Pixel C that was just released. So it looks like it's gonna have to go through this installation. Six and a half hours later. So I went ahead and charged up the unit. Also, I got a chance to install the update itself. So now we have a full charged battery. We no longer need to be connected to it. We're gonna go through and actually 
finally do the setup itself here. It's going to check for updates one more time before we were able to go to the next level. Now it's asking me if I want to copy my information from another device or I just want to basically go ahead and install it. For now, I'm just going to go set up a new account. I don't want to really go through the process with you guys here. We can do that later as that's a process that normally everything will go through. I'm just here it's just going to ask us if we want to set up other accounts. I'm just going to say not now. Of course, it already has our Gmail account. This is just asking us if we want to add other things. Uh, protect this device by adding a pin for the system when it unlocks the screen. Uh, we can do that later again. That's not an issue right now. We can skip that. Skip anyways. It's also finding one of the other devices that I was logging into recently. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, set up as a new device. We don't want to actually import anything and then we'll go through from there. Information here. This is just regarding Google Now. So of course I sign in. Sign in. Now it's going through the restoration, but it really is done. So we are at the home screen. It says got it. Uh, so as you notice, the setup is a little bit different than what you're normally used to. You notice here is that this is also due to the latest version of Android, the 6.0.1. Um, the uh, back and home are on the left, and the multi-tab application or the, uh, the recent app is on the right. This is to accommodate tablets, so you'll only see this on the tablet format of this. Uh, the Nexus 7, the Nexus 9 uh, will always have this. Uh, and if you go into a regular device, let's say the Nexus 6, they're still connected together. Of course, we have the app drawer, the animation is, there's no question, it's buttery smooth, obviously brand new device. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just launch the apps, uh, the, the Play Store here. Uh, and I like the theme, really nice, and then we'll just we'll do updates later, it's not an issue. We'll go home, bring down the notification panel. Of course, it's going through its own restoration here, it's updating information. We're going to go directly into the system settings, and I think we pretty much are, we should be on the latest version of Android, 6.0.1, and that must have been the update that I received. Right when I opened up the box, it did not let me go beyond the point of actually just installing the update and restarting. Uh, actually also required me to basically just um, install the update actually and charge it because it came dead. Um, overall, pretty good. Uh, I did get one request on Twitter, if you guys follow me on Twitter. And actually, I remember they wanted to do a sound test. And then we're going to play some music um, from NCS. Since they do have some nice collections in there, we can just play some music just to test out the sound. And this is just a random sign. The volume control on the unit itself is right here on the left. So we're going to skip the ad. This is at maximum volume. Very nice. Um, I wouldn't call it, you know, super bass, but I guess we didn't get to the level where there's, you know, a good So far, it sounds pretty good. The uh, Tab S, this is the Tab S 10.5 inch. The screen obviously is a little bit bigger physically than the uh, Pixel C. The one thing that is very interesting between the two is that physically on the tablet size, you can notice here it's a little bit, bit taller and that's about it. Uh, resolution wise, we have a 2560 by 1800 and here we have 2560 by 1600. Almost very close as far as the resolution itself, but the Pixel C does have a unique aspect ratio and that's what gives it a little bit higher density there as far as the pixels. But overall, both stunning, uh, perfect for you know viewing uh, media, you know watching movies, uh, YouTube, all of the things that you want to do. Uh, of course, we do have a much better uh, set of hardware in the sense here we have the X1 chip, which is the latest and greatest. It's the fastest on the market and it's running Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. And here we're still stuck on Android 5.1.0.1. Um, running a custom ROM. Again, I'm loving the fact that it's actually designed for dual handing, handling on the unit itself by putting the actual buttons on the right and left and not just centering them, which makes it really unfunctional. Um, so you can definitely experience it by just holding the tablet and with your thumbs, you can actually go ahead, come back. Very nice. Overall, I like it. Um, it's great from the sense of weight. Um, it's not very heavy. It's actually pretty light. I didn't get the keyboard, so I don't have the experience with that part. Uh, but from the sense of what you get as far as just reusability, it's really, really good. Uh, the camera itself is a stock, you know, Google uh, camera. I'm sure it needs to be updated to the latest version. And of course, it's going to ask me for permission as this is. I don't want to do tagging. We'll go next. Uh, this is Marshmallow. 
and the permissions will be very, very good here. And then we can switch over to the front facing camera. We'll go and switch here. So really nice. Uh, again, the intention here, I just want to show you guys real quick. My first initial experience with this, the screen looks amazing. I, I mean, the graphics, and again, maybe just the picture was really, really good, but the screen looks really, really nice. Um, it comes obviously with all the application all the application that you'd expect from Google. The setup is pretty much what you normally expect from a tablet itself, especially since it's running Android 6.0.1. I like the fact now that the power button and, sorry, not the power button, the home, back, and multi button are actually separated to fit more uh, ergonomically within the handle. So when you're holding the tablet with your hand, you want the functions or the buttons to be here on the side. Uh, the other thing I, I liked really mu uh, pretty much about it is after I turned off the screen from the you know top view is I started watching some videos. Uh, really nice experience. The audio is pretty good. I uh, watched a few YouTube videos. A couple of them, a couple of them actually were Jordans. So if you've seen Hi Jordans. <laughs> and uh, um, I also installed Instagram and I noticed that obviously Instagram still fits only in um, straight mode as far as, you know, uh, portrait mode. It doesn't go into landscape. So if you go to landscape, Instagram doesn't work. It just keeps thinking. It's like, hey, nope, turn on your tablet, please. And, uh, but it works really good. Um, overall, what I was able to install on it within the first couple of minutes works nicely. I'm able to watch movies, consume media, um, which essentially is what I do most of the time with the tablet. Uh, the intention of testing this, obviously, I'm going to be installing more games, more heavy-duty um, activities or things that need more horsepower. I'm going to say this, though, in the beginning, as far as I understand it to this day, there is nothing on the market now on the Play Store uh, that will give us the ability to, to harness the full power of the X1 chip that's built in here. This is a very strong chip, uh, a lot of hardware, uh, you know, horsepower here that is just not ready yet to be used, uh, but will definitely be able to fly through almost anything that you throw at it, and that's why I wanted to test it out. Um, and maybe depending on what you guys think, I may pick up the keyboard just to do kind of a quick review of that one. Uh, but mostly I figured the tablet itself was the meat of the product. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Give me uh, you know recommendations or things that you'd like me to test out. Sound so far as I received on uh, Twitter, I want to say thank you for that comment. Um, sounds great. Dual speakers, very nice. Um, very nice to have dual speakers. And you do have an EQ built into this so that you actually can customize some of the audio quality coming out of it. I'll see you guys in the next one.